Habs versus Leafs. Great save. All right. The Calamarises. He plays incredible. Versus the Guraviches. They're stalked and psyched. Go, go, go. What they don't know, the fans of whichever team loses could gain something unexpected and unwanted. Researchers investigated whether a team winning or losing affected what fans ate the day after a football game. Turns out, it does. What we found was just amazing is that uh, people living in cities that uh, lost their game on Sunday ate 16% more junk food and 10% more total calories. And people living in cities that won their game on a Sunday, it's the opposite. Surprisingly, it didn't matter if you actually watched the game. And the more the city loved its team, and the tighter the game, the more the losers ate. You could extrapolate and think that uh, if you're rooting for a team of losers, it's not going to be really helpful uh, for your health and your diet. Psychologists say it's because fans identify with the team. Instead of, they lost, it's, we lost, or, I lost. If the team's doing badly, I could see myself grabbing that extra slice of pizza. So you're looking for that quick comfort, that, that quick fix, just to, okay, everything will be all right. So what we want to know now is fans in which cities are going to have to watch their waistlines. Well, it's extremely cold in Calgary, and you know what? There's nothing like a bunch of losses to put a layer of fat all over your body to keep yourself warm. And if it ends the same way for the Toronto Maple Leafs this year that it did last year, they're probably going to drown away their sorrows with nachos, tacos, and maybe some frosty beverages as well. So this season, it might be time to do the unthinkable. Abandon your allegiance, get on a bandwagon, because your team's performance could affect much more than just your mood. That's not a penalty! Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.